Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm here with Charon. We're gonna head to Grey Ditch and see if we can help that kid out. Managed to explore this place, find a new coal quantum. I'm gonna build up a nice stash of those, because I know I'm gonna need them later on. Oh. Got giant ants. Let's see how much they like a shotgun. Wonderful, they breathe fire. Wait, I can hear another one. Wait. Hello. Hello? I think we're safe now. Come on, tell me already. What happened here? It used to be kind of nice. No one bothered us there. I guess because we were so close to DC. There were seven of us living there in tall, old brick houses. I think I'm the last one left. Those things took everyone else. Do you know the others in town very well? Nah. People don't like to stay long in Great Itch. The DC ruins aren't a great place to make a home, you know. In fact, Papa was talking about moving on soon. We've been here for maybe a year. Who else lives in Grey Ditch? Um, besides me and my Papa, there was Doc Lesko, who stayed with us, and Will Brandis, and his Mama and Papa, too. I guess they're all gone now. Okay, so that makes three families. Let me ask you something else. Alright. What is it? Uh, some of the people live there, can tell things like... Tell me what's on the people. Nah, go ahead. It's just nice to talk to anyone about stuff at all. Tell me about Doc Lesko. He was a strange man. He paid Papa some caps to help him build a shack and carry a bunch of junk into it. Papa called him an egghead, but his head was shaped regular, so I didn't get <laughs> it. Where did Doc Lesko stay? He spent all of his time in that shack next door to my house. Every time I'd sneak in there, he'd be sitting at that funny-looking TV machine with the green words pushing buttons. Do you have any idea what Dr. Lesko was doing in Grey Ditch? Nah. He was a nice man, but he never wanted to play with me very much, and we barely talked. That's probably a good thing. All I know is he was all gone when the ants started showing up. I think they got him too. Did Dr. Lesko have any weird stuff in this place? I don't know. All kinds of doohickeys. Boxes with lots of lights, some funny glass bottles. Oh wait, he had a big, clunky, shiny man too. That was kind of neat. But the other people? Yeah? With the Brandis family. Well, there is Will. He was sort of my friend. And then there was his dad and his mom. So where did the Brandises live? Right across the street, actually. It was pretty swell having someone to hang out with so close by. So you and Will are good friends? Yeah. Will was super nice to me. He was like a year older than me, I think. He even shared his comic books with me. We explored pretty much every bit of Grey Ditch we could find. I think that's why the ants don't bother me. I have good hiding spots. Nice. How about Will's parents? Well, his mom was nice too. She was kind of quiet. But she always took care of me and my papa when we came over. I think she was sad that my mom was gone. Will's dad was... Well, I don't want to be mean, but he was kind of scary. Will's dad was scary? How so? He was like, always watching me and my dad real careful, like he didn't trust us or something. He always kept staring at us from the windows of his house and typing stuff into his TV box. Will said his dad was like an old soldier or something, but he didn't like doing that stuff, so he quit. Talk to other people. Yeah? Uh, something else. Alright. What is it? I can tell you about the thing attacking Greyditch. The things attacking Greyditch. Well, they're big, <coughs> ugly things that crawl around on six legs. They got huge teeth and skitter around grabbing everything in their path. Giant ants. My papa would always say they're fucking ants. <laughs> well... That's what he used to call them anyway. 
I just call them fire ants. Oh, same thing. Is there a special way to hurt them? My papa had a gun. He said it hurt those things. But he said they were the dumbest fucking ants he ever saw. He kept telling everyone to shoot for their antenna. Whatever that means. Have they always been around? No. Nah, those things started coming around only in the last few months. At first, they just crawled around outside our town. But later, they came into town. And, well, you know the rest. Okay, let me ask something else. Alright. What is it? Where's your house? Look for the house nearest to the billboard. That's sticking out of the ground. It's pretty close to the diner. You can't miss it. Have to go. Be careful, or those things might get you. Okay, so here's the diner. Oh, come on, you could call Quantum? Nope. Uh, oh, well. Let's see what else they got here. This is probably the dock shack. Sneaking, just in case. I mean, let's see. Gnax computer. Secretly? No. S E C R E T L Y. Yep. Audience. Good science bar. Air pot empty. Science robot command input. Personal notes. Where did I go wrong? Promise being a process follower and perhaps the pressure of working in these conditions that are properly delivered equipment is to blame. Perhaps the system didn't spice the correct genetic instructions or perhaps I am fatigued. Whatever the case may be, A27 is proving to be a disaster. I must introduce a new formula sooner or I may not be alive to see the hypothesis come to fruition. Sample location discovered. Found the perfect specimen for my experiment inside Marigold Station. I've set up a shop underground for now while I prepare the experiment. All I need is a bit of last minute programming on my robot and it will be ready to perform the delicate injection. So I will prove to everyone that my formula is a viable alternative to the, de to the destruction of these misunderstood beings. Okay, next one, dangerous. I realize the dangers involved in tampering with nature. I've heard the ret ret rhetoric and the hoopla about playing God. However, I am determined to reduce these poor things back to the original state when they were harmless. Only through genetic recoding is this possible. All that is needed is a proper test subject. My search continues as I tweak the formulas. So I guess this guy is the reason for the ants. Anything. Ooh. Oh. There's a password for his computers. This could be the fifth time I've forgotten the code to my desktop terminal. I really must learn to be more organized. The password for my terminal is Promethodi. How hard could that be for me to remember? Note to self destroy this holotape as soon as move to new lab is complete. Why does that guy's voice sound familiar? Oh well. Let's search the house. Guess these ants didn't make it. Oh. Guess there's his father. 308, assault rifle, 556. Light in here. Leave everything there. Oh, pre war money, pre war money. What about upstairs? Evil garden gnome? Hmm. No, nothing underneath there. Ooh, more point three oh eight. I've back in my base and nearly have all of the uh, shells filled with ammo, except point three oh eight. Really hard to find. Yeah, yeah, churn. Let's go talk to the kid. Whoa, sure is hot. Let's try that again. Come on, tell me already. I think I have some bad news for you. Oh no. What happened? Brian, I'm sorry, but your father's dead. 
he's he's dead I guess I already knew besides I'm too tired to cry anymore I'll stop whatever started this I promise you we gotta stop it so this can't happen to anyone else's family ever again I wish I had met you a long time ago and then maybe my dad would still be alive thanks for doing all this I'm feeling better now that you're here I have to go. If you look around enough in Great Itch, you might find some useful stuff people left behind. Thank you. Close you up in there, just in case. Okay, so... I think this should be Will's house. Or, Brandis. Camera, pack of cigarettes. Any live ants in here? No, this is my favorite. Bobby pins. Should have a nice supply of those by now. Now this guy was supposed to be like a ex officer. He's got some good guns or something. I wonder if his family made it out. If they're not here. Should be a good sign. Oh, turn the radio off. Let's see. Dealer. Ooh, three. D E A L E. Nope. D E A L E R. Nope. D E A L. There you go. Can't be going through all that trouble to leave Navarro and make my way across the country just to get stuck in this shithole. I'll be damned if I'm going to die. Navarro. He must have been from. Oh, Navarro. I remember that from the previous Fallout games. That was where the Enclave had a base. Now that we're cut off from Lesko and Wilkes, I think we're on our own. The damn ants keep trying to find a way to get inside the house. Even as I'm typing this, I can hear them scraping the walls looking for a way through. I don't know how much longer we can last. I'm going to have to find a better way to protect Sheila and Will from these ants. Ever since Lesko came to town, I'm certain they're getting more and more aggressive. Wastelands are bad enough, but at least they can't run away. At least you can run away from them. These would seem to proceed to the ends of the earth if they could. Call me crazy, but I swear I saw one start a fire the other day. Don't know how this could be happening. Decide to dig up my old sidearm and keep it hidden on me at all times. If those things get too close, they'll blast that tenor right off their ugly heads. Take a trip. Wait. I'm going to start from the start. I finally found a quiet place for my family. We've been running from one settlement to the next just to keep out of sight. Now we're on the other coast. I feel much safer. The family across the way from us seems pretty decent. Their kid Brian likes to play with my son, which is great. It's hard for Will to make friends because we haven't stayed in one place long enough. Maybe we can finally get some roots down here in Greyditch. I was scavenging some of the nearby buildings for junk to sell and came across a working radio. No sooner did I turn it on than I heard the familiar patriotic anthems they used to play whenever Richardson would have give a speech. But this was different. Who the hell is President Eden? What did... When did that happen? Are they on this coast too? Most importantly, will they come looking for me? I hope this journey wasn't a huge mistake. Richardson was the guy we killed and followed too, I think. Some scientists named Lesko moved in with the Wilkes family across the street. They are helping him make some sort of structure on the old lot near the diner. Lesko offered to pay me caps if I help, but I declined. I didn't know what he's working on. Working, I don't know who he's working for, but I don't think they're still looking for me. Our supplies are running low and I need to begin forging for food and some better drinking water. I'd have an easier time if it wasn't for the damn ants. I swear they have a nest around here somewhere. It's becoming a real pain in the ass so much that I had to take a trip to Megaton and buy a better gun to protect my family. It cost me a small fortune. I had to trade every bit of ant meat I had collected, but it was worth it. I'm teaching Frank and Shield to use just in case something happens to me. If one of those two are reading this, I'm, and I'm gone, I keep the gun in the kitchen behind the old fridge. Hmm. Should be able to pick this. Wow, a missile launcher. Wasn't quite expecting that. Apparently behind the fridge. Huh. Completely missed that. But I do hope these guys manage to get away safely. No corpses, so that's a good sign, I guess. Let's see what's up here. Guessing ants, but still. I've got one. Oh. What are you shooting at? Oh, hey. probably that one. I've got your back. Well, 
I guess I should only just get one hit in and let him finish it off. Seems when I fire, he finishes off right before me. So I just end up wasting ammo. Oh. Over here. Where? Yep. Thought I heard something. Where? And another one. I wonder if I can go in that big building there. Wait. Metro tunnels here, I think. Hey. <coughs> Come on, finish him off, Charlie. Sure. I'm glad that's over. He was reloading. I figured I'd take the chance. So, let's do much else. If that guy, oh yeah, Lesko mentioned he went into the tunnels. Definitely gonna have to go down there. Let's see anything up here. Quick search around. Look around. What the? More ants. Whoa! Do these guys respawn that fast? out slightly. Get your ass over here. There was one over here. I can hear it. Ah. And hello there. Okay, I think I've cleared this place out of enough ants. Search that house. Hmm, this is next to the Wilkes. Maybe they hid something here. Or nothing. Nope, to the metro. Ah, how did I miss you? Just keep responding. I'm gonna head into the tunnels and see if I can find out. Find Lesko. Come on. I eventually have to get that perk that lets me sprint faster. should be able to sneak around even without going super slow. Well, 
Might as well take the ant meter that I'm gonna find them carrying guns. That's not too bad for equipment. Some mines. Five break mines. Oh. Quick save. spikes. Oh, and I don't know if I did I mention it last time, but the railway rifle I made previously does three times uh, normal damage to limbs. So if you're trying to cripple someone, that's the weapon to go. Especially since it already has a times three critical chance. Which is pretty sweet. got a job to do. You need to retrieve the package and get it safely to Ronald Lauren and Gurdershade. Tell them Grady sent you. To get the package, you'll need the key. I've stashed it inside an old fire hose case in some maintenance closet in Marigold Metro Station. The key will unlock the safe that contains the package. Look for the room marked by a spinning light. You can't miss it. Good luck. And hopefully, they won't find you too. Where is this? Marigold Station. Okay, I'm gonna have to start checking all the, uh... What are they? Firehouse cases. Oh, I think I missed this. Yep. Is this the utility room? are pretty noticeable, so hopefully I shouldn't have too much trouble. Once again, just going in a giant circle. But I want to make sure I don't miss anything. Let's see. Nope. That's everything here. Quick run upstairs. 
Pretty sure I got everything. No fire hide, fire hose uh, cases up here. Nope. Down we go. Hmm. Let's go this way. stashing out here before he encountered a uh, ant or something. Wait. Light off. Okay, you want to turn around. There you go. gas here. You lit myself on fire. One shot, one kill. That's the way I like it. I wonder if this is it. Yep, greedy save key. Ever take a fire hose novel? Fire hose nozzle. Ammunition box. Crypt cigarettes. Ah, nice. Tell me in the rounds. Scrap metal. That's psycho. Ooh, and a stim pack. Crypt cigarettes. Lead pipe. Not bad. Important thing is we have a key. Let's continue our search for the room with the uh, rotating light. Oh, I gotta be careful. Good chance if I light myself on fire here. on the warrior, not the worker. Oh well. 
see what we got here. Ant meat. Oh, William Brandeis. Sorry, but I want your equipment. I hope the rest of his family managed to get away. No notes or anything. So I'm pretty sure this... Is it a dead end or...? can't access it from this way. Unless I can get around the other side of the train. That looks like... yep. So this goes up this way. Ah, they probably intersect. Actually, might as well keep searching this way. Oh, here we go. I if I could have picked this lock. Warpath. W A R P A T H. W W A R P A T H. Uh, this one's not that easy to crack. Warpath and hanging. do we have? Come on. Oh, sweet, we got allowances replenished. Now I just remove as many deads as we can. Oh, there's one. Wait, how many words are left? Nightwear. I'll take it. Ooh, a ripper. I needed one of those for my wall of weapons. Only leaves three more weapons I believe I don't have. The hardest to find, I think, will be the rolling pin. Whoa. I'm only going to ask you this one time. Give me the naughty nightwear. I'm keeping it, and I advise you to back off before I get angry. All right, all right. My mistake. It obviously belongs to you. Now, uh, you just watch it, because I won't be so nice next time. Right. Quick save. Shit. Good riddance. He seemed like a nice guy. Yep, finger. Definitely evil. And we're out of time. And I've got a full inventory, so I'm gonna pop back to my hideout, unload everything, and next time and next episode we can continue exploring this area. I believe he ran to let's go back there, but I wanted to finish exploring the rest of the metro before we uh confronted him. Well, see you then.